Okay, looks like you guys are already diving into it. That's super awesome. Let's start out though with a quick little uh, brainstorm of what are some of the test cases or any questions that you have about the the the, the kata. So, as uh, you, had, you had a question, yeah, how are the scores generated? Are we just passing them in, or so how are the how, how are the scores generated? What do you mean by generated? Well, I think with the test game, you win one point at a time. Mm. So. Oh, that, like, maybe yeah. Uh, how are how are people thinking about approaching that? It's, right, it's a very fundamental question. So it's like, how do you interact with the program or maybe the class that you're going to be using to to, to model the tennis game? Uh, main with a while loop. Main with a while loop. Okay. Yep. And so it sort of says, what, what is it? Just like what, while the game is still going on, play a random game, something like that. Okay. No, oh, something like that. Okay. Cool. Uh, other thoughts about how people are going to do that? Do a random, randomized thing. Yeah. Random game. Uh, anybody think about doing a test driven? Yeah. Yeah. What What are uh, What are some of the first tests that you're thinking about writing? Sorry. Player gets a point. Player gets a point. Okay. Uh, what What are test cases? What are sort of either boundaries or sort of like how are you thinking about building this up? I've never done this kata before. I don't know. So you're telling me. <laughs> starting score should be zero. Starting score should be zero. Oh, right. Good place. Yeah, always up. Right. Here again, it's, it's good to have sort of like very fundamental unit tests. So there, yep. Starts out zero. Okay. There's a small set of valid scores, so you can easily test those. Okay. Right. Yeah. Would it be like, would you say, ah, oh, the score is never going to be seven? Would it be something like that? Or well, I don't know. You yeah. could either have one to test all of the valid scores or as many tests as you have scores. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, and I guess also, was everybody able to clone the, the repository or uh, get air or race? Or is it good so they've got like IntelliJ or wherever your job environment is up there? Okay. Awesome. Okay. So, so I, I was hearing some good buzz, so I want to let you get and some good fizz. No. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but I want to let you guys get back to it. But is everybody ready to go? Okay. I'm up here all by myself. Anybody want to code with me? Looks like we've got lots of good pairs out there. So I'll just do it on my own. We can compare notes at the end. Okay. So let's do that for 20 minutes. Uh, 19 minutes. So at 8.30, we'll uh, reconvene. What I'll do is I'll, um, I'll start a, um, uh, a Google Hangout that you can join and share your screen that way. Um, and that way you can sit there at your, uh, at your desk and um, uh, you don't need to come up front or anything like that. Uh, cool. Okay. Have at it. Let us play tennis. So then okay. So where am I going here? Uh, okay, I think I want is I'm going to have uh, okay, so I'm going to say initially I'll avoid initially both players have a score of zero. So I'll have a tennis game equals new tennis games, tennis game, and I want to assert that. Oops. Uh, import cynic method. So assert that game dot get player one score equal to oops, equal to zero. Import that and I'll create that method. Do I want a getter? No, I don't think so. I want to create just a method, and this is going to be an int. Sure. Okay. Return. I have return zero. I don't like that. I'll return minus one because I want to see it fail. So uh, Yeah. Hey. Yeah, no problem. Uh, I'm just curious why the test isn't able to run. I, I made sure to copy, like, import. Oh, that looks pretty good. What, what's it? Oh, oh, um, it looks like. So, did you, when you when you open up the project, did you open up the palm or did you open the directory? 
This looks like you open up the directory. I open up the directory. Okay, yes. you open up the palm, okay. and then IntelliJ will know it's a Maven project. Okay, perfect. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Okay, so then uh, equal to that, and then we also want to have player two score equal to zero. <laughs> Oops. So the keyboard create method hit. And then return minus one. Okay, so then run the test. Should fail spectacularly. Yeah. Okay, that's easy to fix. Uh, and I was going to do them both. Okay. We'll run it. Okay. Uh, oh, you know what I should do? I should. I should fork this into my own. Well, they all cloned it. No, oh, whatever. I should probably fork it into my own. Uh, nah. Okay, we'll figure it out. Um, okay, so that's good. So now I want to say uh, when player one scores first, player one has fifteen. As score of 15. All right. So now we'll make uh, okay game, and so now here game dot player one score uh, um, wins volley wins volley. Is that what it's called? Uh, so player one wins volley. Should I fail it first or just go wins volley? Okay. Well, let's create method. It's a void method, and then we'll say here fifteen. Right. That's the way this game works. Right. Zero, fifteen, thirty, or forty. If you have forty and you win the ball, you win the game. Okay. Right. Okay. Equal to fifteen. So let's see here. Let's run this. Fails because it should be zero. Okay. Nice. Um, uh, so then player one wins volley. Uh, this dot player one score equals 15. And then this uh, player one score. One test. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like this so much, but well, we can refactor this later. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm I'm gonna want to re refactor this pretty quickly to have like a player class, but so let's write some more tests first. So, oops. Uh, alt duplicate. Okay, when player two wins volley, player two has a score of 15. So if player two wins the volley, this is zero, and this is 15. This is the keyboard. And then, uh, well, okay. I don't we really need to do a like, factor here, I guess. Okay, 15 was zero. So then I'm seeing some duplicate code here. So this uh, player one, two score equals 15. Equals 15. Oh, yeah, that's, so this is like totally wrong. Okay. And then get player two score. Let's stop player one. 
Player two score. And run it again. Okay. I want to refactor because I'm seeing lots of duplicate code here. So here's what I'm going to do. It's time to introduce a player class, and it's going to be a. So it's going to be a private static class. We'll see. A player. And so now I'm going to have, instead of these things, I'm just going to have private uh, final player. Uh, player one equals new player one, new player, and they're going to have a player two, which is also that. And going to each player now is going to have a score. So I'm going to get rid of those guys, and instead of player one score, I'm just going to say player one dot get score. Whoops. And then create, yeah, getter. Okay. Sure. And then player two dot get score. And then I guess that check actually. You know. Okay. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say this dot player one dot. Uh, next score or uh, oh, player one? How about yeah, win volley? And then I don't know. It'll, it'll have to. It'll be fixed. But, um, and then this dot score equals fifteen. So obviously that'll have to change later, but that's all right. Uh, Win volley. Let's try this again. Uh, run them all. Yay! Okay. Good. I like the design much better. Okay. So let's see here. Um, win. How about this? Win. Player. Win player one wins two volleys. Two volleys. Player one has score of thirty. So was one vo uh, one was volley. Player one was volley again. Should have thirty. Okay, thirty was fifteen. That's what I expect. So then, when it wins the volley, uh, we do the following. So. Uh, let's switch. <laughs> I don't know. We, yeah, let's switch on this dot score. Uh, so when the score, so we have a little state machine right here. So when the score is zero, let me say this dot score. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this when it wins volley. It's this dot score equals uh, oops, uh, next score from this dot score. Okay, great method. Those don't need to be public. Fix that. Fix that. Hint, hint, uh, current score. So here we can switch on current score. And uh, when current score is zero, then return 15. And I think now, oh, we case current score is 15, then return 30. <laughs> and then uh, default will be oops, uh, throw new unsupported operation exception because we're not there yet. Don't know how to get score after current score. 
Oh, Neat, now we're going to the piles. Hey, do you have a question? Yeah, hey, I don't know what this is. Okay. Um, so it's like saying, so one thing I noticed is that it's not happy about your class files here. When you import things into IntelliJ, um, did you open the directory or did you open the com file? I cloned the directory. Okay, I think, so I think you've gotten the stuff. And when you open up the IntelliJ project, open up the com file instead, and I think it'll be happier. <laughs> Give that a try. And let me know if it doesn't work. Uh, so anyway, let's get rid of that. Oops. Okay, so then do that. Let's run that. Let's run everything. Nice. Okay. Oh, all these are. So I just hit F2 and go to all these ones. Ah, eh, you know what? Forget it. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, so now let's duplicate this again. So when they have three volleys, sorry, what? It worked good. Excellent. Three volleys, players one has score of. 40. Uh, two, 40. Three of them. Run it. Yep, fails. Oh, no, that's good. Okay, good. Uh, that's one way to do it. So, when case, when we're at 30, then turn 40. And that. Okay. And then. And now we say when when there are four volleys, four volley has won the game. Of the game. And so then uh, the score is. Well, the score is still 40, but it's like. Uh, assert that game player one is winner. Equal to true. Uh, now we will operate. Oh, so it's so easy. Uh, Boolean. And then this dot player one. I was just calling it. Oops. Now we want to check. Turn. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, so, yeah. You can just check. Turn this is and win. Okay, so then uh, let's then create this. Uh, create that. Initially it was false. And actually, you know, initially the score is zero. This is all implicit because there's no fault values there. Uh, okay. Um, and now, when we're at 40, anyone, you say uh, this dot is winner equals true, and then return 40 again, I guess. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll fix this. But let's do a test remaining. So, uh, run all the tests again. Oh, did I not see that fail? No, nope, I didn't like. Oh, I probably I probably missed the test. No, yep, yep. We didn't before. I hadn't finished that yet. No, that was dumb of me. Oh well, so much red green is a factor. I only got a couple minutes left anyway. Okay, so now. Uh, so let's see here. Now when you say uh, public void when both players have 40 points 
Uh, and well, let's see here. Let's call this player one wins volley. Uh, win score is tied at forty. So to get here. Uh, oh, I don't have player. I don't have player two wins volley. So there goes forty, and then yeah, I must have player two wins volley. Okay, so let's make sure that both of them have forty points. So both the scores are 40, and that neither is the winner. Okay, let's run that. Two faults because player, probably flicks player one is true. Yep. Okay, so now. We need to do the following. Now when we compute the score, we need to take the opponent's score into account. So like when a player wins a volley and player two wins the volley, now win volley needs to take the opponent's score. So this dot player one dot get score. And now we need to add the parameter there. And we want to call it uh, we want to call it opponent score. Opponent score. So we don't use that. Oh, and uh, this year we went. Oh, that was interesting. We did that. That was surprising. Um, now uh, opponent score. Next score. Oops. Opponent score. Add that to the. Yep, and now when, okay, so when I'm at 40, if opponent score also equals 40, well, if it doesn't equal 40, then we're the winner. This logic probably could go up here. Actually, let's do that. Yeah. We don't need to change it. Let's remove that parameter. And let's just undo this. Fortunately, uh, our change score is going to be able to go down as well. No, actually, I don't. You know what? I like to bear it the other way. Oops. So, or, or we can have a. Here we go. I like this. Keep the logic here. Okay, now it's, it's the order. Oops, what does it like? Oh, still thinks it's the winner. That's weird. Player one is winner equal to two. So, player. Oh, because it wasn't tied when on the fourth one. Because we could have like a, we could have an increase score and a decrease score in this one. Right, so let's see here. Zero, 15, 30, 40, 40, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, okay. Test was wrong. Yay, okay, let's run the ball. I think this is probably it. I want to add some more tests though. Okay. Okay. So. Well, how do I start? I'm trying to hang out these days. I have like screens or objects. I know that one does. Change. I do that. Start a Google Hangout. Then you can get Yeah, it was a good dinner, though. Like, this is the part of the
Right people, CS for ten. No. Oh, advanced. And I don't mean to have a you know, copy link to share. Uh, and copy the keyboard. And then we'll Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and check. I already have to go ahead and check.